What's up guys? It's Natural Elmon26. Unfortunately, my throat is killing me. I like went to bed last night and I could just tell I was getting sick. So this morning the first thing I did was take medicine, but like my throat is dying. It like really hurts to talk, but I really wanted to make a video because it's Halloween. So happy Halloween. My favorite holiday tied with Christmas. I know they're completely opposites, but like I love them both equally. I'm so sad because October's over and October is my favorite month. I can just watch a bunch of horror movies and nobody questions me. If you didn't know, my favorite genre is horror and sci-fi, but like like, they kind of go together a lot of the time and I just really love both of them so I love October most of you probably don't know but I used to be obsessed with like anything supernatural anything paranormal anything ghost related anything spirit related like my life revolved around ghost TV shows basically this is like the time where I started watching supernatural and I binge watched like all the seasons I used to be obsessed with the show Ghost Hunters, like I loved that show. My dad and I would always watch like alien and ghost documentaries and like really cool shows like that. Like I still love them but like I don't watch them as much. I just love the paranormal and everything like that. And you would think that someone who loves it like I do would have experienced like all these paranormal occurrences and all this stuff but unfortunately I only have one story and I'm gonna show that one story with you right now. So I've only had one paranormal experience and I had to go looking for it. So if you're not into that kind of stuff, uh, let me give you a little rundown. So this is an EMF detector. It's an electromagnetic field detector and spirits can manipulate the electromagnetic field. So if they go close to it, these lights will light up and if they back away from it the lights will go back down to one most things don't give off a strong signal i think like my xbox makes a couple of them light up mostly like electronics and radiation and stuff like that will make it light up but many things don't make it light up and unfortunately this experience um this happened last year and i didn't record any of it so if you don't want to believe me that's totally fine i don't really care because i know what happened so basically you go ghost hunting with these things and it just turned on so the lights are like, it goes back down to one. Um, and basically you can ask yes or no questions and, and if the answer is yes, the spirit will light up as many lights as possible. Um, it rarely goes to the red one because it is like hard for them to get enough energy to light it up all the way. So usually it'll be like the third or fourth one that it lights up to. So they'll answer yes and light it up or no and just keep it at this green one. Now this happened last year, last school year, um, around, I think it was like beginning of October actually. It was like me and a couple of my friends who go to my school. We decided to go to the graveyard that's next to our school and bring this and try to communicate with spirits and see if there are any spirits there. That graveyard, I, I'm pretty sure has been there for like a long time. So, you know, we were expecting that we were going to get something hopefully. So we went and it was me and three other people. Um, it was me, two other girls, and a guy. We went into the graveyard and we walked around with this and saw if there were any spikes. And if there were, we would sit down and try to ask yes or no questions. So we actually ended up talking to two spirits. Both of them were women. The first one seemed to have a hard time lighting up the lights all the way. Um, it seemed like she couldn't have like that much energy. But we asked her, you know, if she had li lived around here, we asked her if she had kids, if she had a family, if she knew she was dead, and all that stuff like that. Um, so she did have kids, um, and she did know she was dead, and she was like kind of younger too. I don't remember exactly her age, but we didn't talk to her for as long as the second spirit because she, again, didn't have that much energy to keep lighting these up. So we, we left that spot. Um, we said thank you to the spirit for talking to us. I know this sound probably sounds so weird if you don't believe in this stuff, but like, I mean, you have to treat them like any other person so like you're literally just going and trying to talk to random people like imagine walking up to random people and trying to talk to them like ask them all these random questions about themselves like I mean that's kind of what it is basically so anyway we walked around the graveyard again and we got another hit near um, one of the gravestones and we put this down on the gravestone and in case you don't believe us like one of my friends the guy who went was not a believer and after this he was like wow like I actually believe now um, because we asked yes or no questions as I said and 
um sometimes you know it wouldn't go down to the first green light it would go like it would flicker between that one and this and the second one or whatever and so we would be like okay can you back away and make it so that it, only the first green light is like lit, lit up and they would do it they would back away and it would be green and i'd be like okay and wait 10 seconds and make sure that you know none of the lights were lighting up and i'd be like okay can you light light them up again and then they would light up again like we were very precise and make like we made sure that it wasn't our phones we stepped away we like made sure that it was actually a spirit that we were talking to we made sure that we weren't interfering with it whatsoever anyway the second spirit we talked to her she had a family we talked to her more in depth so we asked if she could travel around like how far she could travel around if she could see her like descendants and stuff like that and she actually said that she could travel within a specific like radius I guess and one of my friends actually wanted to be cremated so she asked if she was cremated if she could become a spirit or like what would happen to her spirit and I the the spirit actually said that she was attached to her body so she didn't think that you know if she had her ashes like spread out over you know whatever wherever she would want them um she doesn't know if she would be able to come back as a spirit we also asked if she knew how long she was dead and she didn't um she said that it had seemed like not that long but i forget what the year was on the gravestone but it had been like quite a long time she said that there were other spirits in the graveyard like we asked if there were and she said there were many of them we asked if she had utilize her ability to travel around and see her descendants she said she did um she said that you know time worked differently um in whatever realm she was in um we asked if we, she thought she was in purgatory um i think that she like didn't have a clear answer so we asked like if she didn't know and she said yes and it was just a really really interesting experience that was the only and first paranormal experience i've ever had and it, it was actually like so peaceful like i know people get really paranoid or really scared in graveyards but i find it very like it's just like a historic place and like people who lived you know entire lives or you know like everybody has a story and all of those people are in one place and like how can there not be something there you know what i mean but it was like a really peaceful experience we talked to the second spirit for probably like 20 or 30 minutes just asking yes or no questions we asked how many kids she had how old she was um i don't remember exactly what i think she had like four kids um i don't really remember her age but um it was just like really interesting and all of us were you know very respectful and we just thought it was like a really interesting experience and we actually want to go again um we've been trying to plan another time to go we actually went last year on halloween but that was like not a good idea because there were like so many people in the graveyard probably because it was halloween so we didn't get anything that day and we didn't stay that long but the first time we went like there weren't there was like no one there so if you're interested in anything like this like totally tweet me or comment like i love to hear other people's experiences like i think it's the most interesting thing and you know i love learning about like what could happen you know after i die or after anybody dies because it's so mysterious and like no one actually knows but all of these stories like add to the knowledge that you have of like what could happen we actually may try to go today we will see um i'm gonna try to record next time i go though like um i don't know why i didn't the first time i was like so stupid i just didn't want to like scare them off and you know be like oh like i'm gonna record this um but like i think next time i definitely will so yeah totally let me know any stories that you have and i hope you guys have a great halloween i hope you had a great halloween weekend i did october honestly wasn't what i expected it to be because i usually just love october and like make everything about like horror and anything scary and like anything paranormal but this month i was just so busy with school like there was a whole week and a half where i did nothing but school work it was horrible but um you know it was still a good month and anyway today is the end of October and you know coming up is like the rest of the holiday season and like I'm so excited for that too. I hope all of you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!